I can't believe I'm about to say this because the Peak Design carbon fiber travel tripod has been my go-to in the studio and for travel, but this one from Freewell is better in almost every way. Some of my main feedback for Freewell on past products is that they always try to pack in so many features in and it almost takes away from the main use of the product in the first place. They did that again with this tripod, but the difference this time, they knocked it out of the park. Full disclosure, Freewell did send this out to me. Thank you, Freewell. But they're not seeing this video prior and have no say in anything I'm about to say. And I'll be giving you my honest feedback and review after some heavy uses of all these features here in the studio. Although there are a few things coming up about this tripod that I can't wait to share with you, this ball head slash fluid head has to be one of my top three. It has your classic ball head, which is surprisingly incredibly smooth, but what you're also getting here, and this is the big one, is you're getting an actual, it's not a full on fluid head, and to get a real fluid head tripod, they're pretty big, and bulky, it's not a true fluid head, but you're getting the ability to do some pretty interesting tilt movements as well as some pans. And look, it's not a full on cinema grade fluid head here, but I think it's pretty cool that they're able to pack in those little features there in such a compact little travel design. Not a lot of tripods do vertical well. As an example, the Peak Design tripod does vertical, but you can't really do little micro adjustments to the angle because it gets blocked by some of these little notches. The Freewell is a bit odd to get into vertical mode. There's a few ways to do it, but you can just drop this ball head here down to the side and then you can hit your little tilt and you can tilt this up and now you're in vertical mode and you can get some of those micro adjustments that you just can't get out of that peak design. It does take some getting used to to get it into that full vertical mode, but with some practice, it's actually pretty easy. The first thing I think about when it comes to adjusting a tripod is the leg height. This one's ridiculously fast. You just twist it to unlock it and you can fully extend pretty quickly. And one of the most important things for me when it comes to a tripod, I'm six feet tall, so I wanna make sure that the tripod can get high enough to get at eye level for me, and this one has no problem doing just that. And when it comes to connecting to the camera, it's just a standard twist to lock Arca Swiss style clamp to get mounted up on your camera. And later in this video, there's a few more little hidden small adjustments that you can make with this tripod. has kind of a cool little quarter mount system on here. It has a quarter 20 right here, as well as one right here. That can be really useful for connecting something like a magic arm to it, and then connecting your phone if you wanna have some notes for a video. And I'm sure y'all can find a bunch of other reasons to have a quarter 20 mount on your tripod. Maybe you wanna do like a POV camera up top, maybe a GoPro or something on the side, getting a POV of the shots that you're getting. If you're getting something from this video, let me know by giving it a tap on the thumbs up to let me know to keep making videos just like this. You can also put this tripod in top down mode and it's pretty easy to do that. We just need to loosen these two slots here. Just going to loosen those. And then once those are done, we're just going to take off the top mount here. We're going to loosen up the actual slide there. And we're just going to pop this guy out. And then we're going to put that in just upside down the exact opposite direction. We're gonna reconnect with that same little loosening spot that we did earlier. We're just gonna reconnect there. And now we have a top down rig. I see that as a really useful little angle to be able to get when I'm out away from the studio. In the studio, I have a standard top down shot ready to go, but being out and needing a quick angle, that's kind of cool. And if you're doing that and your legs are in the shot, maybe your lens a little bit too wide, all you have to do is you can just widen the legs in that same little top down situation and they're gonna be less chance of being in the shot. It'll be a little bit lower, a little bit tighter of a shot, but you can get the legs out pretty easily. This tripod's already proven to be incredibly versatile, but we can actually make it even better. If you look for this little logo right here, you can turn this thing into a monopod simply by unscrewing that leg. And then we just take this top piece off and we're just gonna connect this top piece to that same mount that's on the leg here. And now we have a ridiculously light and compact complete monopod that still has that same really beneficial fluid head style as well as the ball head up top. This tripod has a few little hidden features that are well thought through. The first one is this little plate that you'd obviously just connect to your camera and that would then connect to the tripod. 
What this also does when you're in a pinch, it actually can be a little phone mount as well. And that same phone mount can connect right on top of the tripod. It also has this little air tag holder, which I guess if you're somebody who loses their tripod often, that can be a fail safe way to make sure that you never lose it. I still haven't figured out how they have made it so light. And it's a carbon fiber tripod, that certainly helps. But with everything we're getting up top out of this ball head, it's kind of crazy. Like as an example, this is my Sony a7C Mark II, which is an incredibly compact and light camera with my 20 mil f1.8, very compact lens. This is heavier than this, which is crazy. It's only coming in at 1.9 pounds, so sub two pounds. And for the record, this one's heavier. And even though it's so light, it's also incredibly sturdy. In Freewell's video, they were mounting a 70 to 200 with I think it was an A7 IV on the tripod with no issue. But if you wanna weigh it down further, maybe you're on an uneven surface or you're out where it's somewhere windy, this little hook down here is a great place to throw your backpack on it to weigh the tripod down. With it being so light, it makes it great for travel and you can also just tilt this down and you can make it really compact to fit right in your camera bag. And if you're like 1.9 pounds, I wanna make it even lighter. You can do that. We're just gonna disconnect the same two screws that we did when we did the top down mode. We're gonna disconnect the ball head piece and we're just gonna slide the center little riser out here. And then this little piece here is engineered really well where all you have to do is just slide that in and tighten that down. And now we've made the tripod even lighter, although of course it's not gonna be able to get as high because we took that, that center riser out, but technically it's even lighter. There are a few downsides though. Before we dive into those, if you wanna connect further or see some tips and tricks or some videos that I don't post on YouTube, I'd love to have you join the newsletter community and you can do that with a link down below. The biggest downside that I see is that it doesn't have a quick release or locking system up top. This is where the Peak Design beats it. The Peak Design has a fantastic quick release mechanism for the Arca Swiss style plate. But this Freewell, this is how you're gonna to twist to lock it. The problem with that is that's right next Next to this option, which is how you get it into vertical mode or just kind of rotate through here. So what I'd hate to have happen, and especially because it doesn't have a locking mechanism on it, I'd hate to think that I was tightening the actual clamp to the camera via this red knob where it was still actually loose and the camera could fall out. And in my opinion, a quick release system should come standard on a higher end tripod. My gut tells me they weren't able to engineer that while still getting all the features out of like the ball head and the fluid head style system here, but it would be nice if it had a quick release and especially a locking mechanism. The other downside, there's just kind of a lot going on when it comes to adjusting everything that you can adjust here. It's got a lot of benefits to being able to do that. It does take some kind of practice and getting used to to get used to all the adjustments, but I have found that after a couple uses, it's pretty easy. Look, at the end of the day, you want your travel tripod to be light, to be durable, and to have really fast adjustments. And this Freewell accomplishes that. I guess the verdict is still out for me on the durability side of things, but after some use, I don't have any concerns about that. And look, even if some of the small features that we talked about today didn't get you excited, the basics here, having a light travel compact tripod that not only has the ball head, but also has this fluid head style system on it, that makes this thing an instant winner in my book. At the time of making this video, this tripod was not on the market. It's on the market now at the time this video is gonna be live. So I reached out to Freewell and I asked him, how much are you gonna charge for this thing? And I was absolutely thinking it was gonna be close to that $600 mark competing with that carbon fiber peak design travel tripod. And I was shocked when they emailed me back and said it's gonna be MSRP'd at 299. And for the first few weeks, I think it's coming in at 249. That's probably gonna go up to 299, which is still a fantastic deal, packing a ton of value into the Freewell Real Tripod. Admittedly, kind of an odd name, but regardless, it's fantastic. If you've been looking for your go-to resource as a beginner to intermediate, content creator, filmmaker, photographer, and you wanna level up this year, I've got your back. You can subscribe to the channel, right there. We'd love to have you a part of what we have going on here. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. See you.